Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So just in case you didn't know, I'm actually an actor. I've been working as an actor in Thailand for the past three years and all the TV series I've been in are BL series and BL means boys love. I'm also a really, really big fan of manga. And despite being a BL actor, and loving manga, I've never actually read a BL or Yaoi manga. So in today's video, I'm gonna be reading my first one ever. So I'm gonna be reading this live, uh, doing my best to voice all the characters, giving you some writing commentary, and also sharing my live reaction. Today, I'm gonna be reading manga on Bookwalker. Bookwalker is an online ebook store where you can purchase manga, light novels, and also audiobooks. Of course, they only don't just have BL things, they have a huge variety of different manga and light novels for you guys to choose from. From the 16th till the 23rd of June, Bookwalker will be celebrating Yaoi Week. So during Yaoi Week, any manga that falls under the genre Boys Love or Yaoi, you get 40% coin back on volumes 1 and 2, and then 20% coin back from volume 3 after. I also have a coupon code for first time users. If you use my code PERTH at the checkout, then you guys get 600 yen, which is approximately $5 off your first purchase. So just to clarify, this code can only be used once, it can only be used by new customers, and is also only for English books. I also get a little bit of commission every time someone uses my code, so it's a great way to support the channel, and also get a discount on some great manga. So before we start reading today, I just want to clarify, things could be getting just a little bit naughty, a little bit sexual. Because the manga we're reading today is rated mature. So if you're not over 18, please be wary of the following content. The manga we're going to be reading today is a manga called Ask and You Will Receive. It's by Niyama and published by Shukreen. Let's start off by reading the blurb. A Casanova who loves one night stands and a beautiful narcissistic prince. A seesaw of love driven by irresistible instincts. Alright, so from just reading the blurb, the blurb. It seems like there's gonna be a nice bit of competition, a bit of back and forth. So I'm not like an expert or anything on the BL genre. I would just say I have a fair bit of experience and a fair bit of knowledge about the tropes or cliches that appear. Although I've never read a BL manga before, I do have some expectations, especially of the ones that are rated mature, and that would be some cheesy dialogue and some, what's the best way to put this? Uh, spicy scenes. So for those of you who are new to the channel, I do like to throw a random accent in here or there. I wouldn't say I'm good, but what counts is the effort. So obviously, me being from Australia, one of these characters is gonna have to be Australian. For the other character, we're gonna go for like Lucius Malfoy vibe. I'm gonna try my best to keep the accent consistent so you guys know which character is which, but no guarantees. All right, let's start off with chapter one. Ah, uh, excuse me. Pardon me, Dolly coming through. I'm here with your printer paper. Excuse me? Huh? Oh, just leave it over there. Ugh. What's going on? Are you all right? Ah, uh, I'm okay. I'm Shinobu Urakawa. I've been an office grunt in general affairs here for eight years. I don't leave much of an impression on people. That coupled with my name of Shinobu has earned me the nickname Ninja. Ah, uh, yeesh. Why are all the ladies gathered here? Ah, uh, coming through, ladies. Bump. What the heck? No, I'm all wet. Oh, that's from the vase earlier. This is my first day wearing this shirt too. Are you okay? You can wipe it off with this. Here he is. Hikaru Omotea, star of our sales department and resident pretty boy, nicknamed Prince. A man born to be adored by women. However, there are many sides to one person. You're always such a shoddy fellow. I suggest you do something about those bangs of yours. You really look so unkempt. Can you even see through them? There's that atrocious posture of yours, and your clothes are riddled with lint balls and that sloppy face and attitude of yours. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, sorry, moving on. You've not one ounce of beauty in your bones. <laughs> you got that right, mate. This is why no one wants to be with you. <laughs> yep, you said it. So this guy seems a little bit mean. Uh, a little bit of a jerk. That's right. There are many sides to one person, including me. Damn, this guy looking good. I kind of want that hairstyle. Maybe next time I go and get a haircut, I'm just going to take the picture of this guy in. Moving on. Nin, nin. Hey there, twins. You guys are bunnies today? 
What would you like to drink? Beer? Let me think. Can you give me something raw? <laughs> You're so dirty, Nin Nin. Dirty. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Jesus. I use my appearance at work to avoid any complicated situations or advances from women to protect my sexual proclivities and personal life. Thanks. He looks kind of average. You know, if you're here alone, how about taking me home for the night? Sure, mate. My night is my precious fun time, an oasis for me to replenish my body and mind. Playing some lame guy isn't very fun. I guess as long as they don't assign me too much work. Oh, is someone here? Ah, oh my dear. I don't think he heard me. Ah, I feel better now. I guess even you take dumps. No, don't be so embarrassed, mate. We're all humans here. Even a man as beautiful as you also shits. I said I wasn't. You're so rude. For your information, I just prefer to use a stall to protect my privacy from irresponsible, uncivilized men like you. Uh, privacy? Does that mean he's got a small one? Why are you so stubborn about not dating Carly's when there are so many girls who love you here? I'm thinking about the future. What happens if we break up? Wouldn't want them exposing my secrets or any private information. Besides, it would pain me to see a war break out in my name. I must treasure everyone equally. Hmm? What's that? Oh, this? I picked it up this morning at the station. Hmm? Men that other men find attractive. Special edition. And then the seeds were planted. Come to think of it, you go to gay bars, don't you? Sometimes I go in by accident. It's actually pretty cozy there. Men that other men find attractive. A man that other men can accept. That's true popularity. The manliest of men is the man who is adored by both women and men. Toya. Yeah? Let's go for drinks. Barkeep. Who's that? <laughs> you mean Nin Nin? Nin Nin? Ah, oh, you mean Shinobukun? His name stands for ninjas, so we just call him Nin Nin. He's a regular here. The most popular guy here. He does indeed have flawless looks. I wonder what would happen if I could make him my prisoner. Okay, well, you know what? Um, okay, yeah, I get it. Uh, uh, I, I get it. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't understand why he wants to make him his prisoner. Uh, but uh, we'll see what happens. I will attempt to steal your spot. Ah, shit, we made eye contact. A shitty end to a shitty day. Like where the story is heading so far. I like the dynamic at work where like Shinobu is like kind of a loser and then they come to the gay bar and now he's hot stuff. All I can say is these are two fine looking men. And also the classic dynamic of blonde hair and black hair, noise. Are you still going to that bar? Damn, you frequent that place more than I do. Yeah, I'm very much in demand. Woo, I'd expect nothing less from our prince. But there's one. One guy who just won't look my way. Actually, it feels like he's avoiding me. The only one not interested is the most popular guy there. Oh, Nin Nin was it? Maybe you're just not his type. What? That's not possible. Not with my looks. I pray that he won't be here today. Why are you acting jumpy? Is he here? Who? I'm talking about Hikaru. Ah, Amutaya-san. He's not here. Wait, do you know him? Nah, well, he's more like... Ah, uh, speak of the devil. Gonna borrow your bathroom. He stood right up when he came in. He's got to be avoiding me. Or was that just a coincidence? Usually, he's the one being mean to me. If he's that persistent, maybe I'll do just that. Make him cry and then devour him. I could even snag a weakness or a secret or two as insurance. I don't like him, but the barkeep's not wrong. His looks is exactly my type of thing. Nice. Let's have another. Ah, uh, mate, I think you've had enough for today. Ah, uh, not yet. He doesn't seem to care. No matter how long I wait, is he that indifferent towards me? Barkeep, I'll have a screwdriver. You mind if I sit here? He's here. Sure. I've been watching you for a while now, but I just never got the chance to talk. <laughs> really? Nin Nin? You turned everyone down, right? I wonder if I'll get the same treatment. Or I thought you might be waiting for someone. 
N- no, please accept this. Huh? It's on me. Th- thank you. A screwdriver. If I recall correctly, the meaning behind this is, you've stolen my heart. Uh Uh-huh. He looks so smug. He noticed the subliminal messaging. Me? Have my heart stolen by you? No way in hell. How about I steal yours? You haven't told me your name yet. It's Hikaru. You mind if I call you Hikaru? Not at all. And you can call me Shinobu. Shinobu. I'd love to get to know you better. So what do you think? If I had to answer, I I wouldn't be opposed to it. Really? Great to hear, mate. Of course. I'm happy. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Are you okay? Or are you not feeling well? You did drink a lot. Huh? Uh, I'm I'm fine. I'm not. I, I guess I drank too much today. I'll take you back. No, no, I, I, I'd i feel bad. Don't worry about it. Barkeep just put his drinks under my tab. I think I can make it back myself. Your legs are wobbling, mate. I better take you home. Don't worry about it. He's gonna eat him alive. Thanks for bringing me back. W- Want to come in? You sure? I'll get you some tea to thank you for seeing me back. Hey, Hikaru, I bet you were actually waiting for me to approach you. Huh? Did you think I wouldn't notice your sneaking glances at me? And you even brought me back to your place. Besides, aren't you straight? Why are you even frequenting a gay bar? I don't know what you're after, but if you're tired of women, how about you take me for a spin? All right, so damn. So to be honest, I thought I would be a little bit more embarrassed reading some of these one-liners, but they're actually pretty solid so far, having a really good time. I wouldn't use them in real life, but they're solid, they're solid. But I guess a preppy guy with a good background like you would be too scared to play with fire. Uh, uh, Preppy? Uh, I'm not scared. I could play with fire. Guys with a lot of pride are easy to manipulate. Relax. I'm amazing in bed. (laughs) I guess this is uh, where things start to get really steamy. Uh, Let's just uh, keep moving forward. Hold on, am I on the bottom? You've never done it with a guy, have you? Uh, uh, His tongue is... uh, uh, Shudder. What is this? It's just a kiss, but... My whole body is buzzing from the tip of my tongue to the soles of my feet. I've never done this before. Rub. Ah, don't tell me you're about to come from just one kiss. Of of course not. Ah, Your legs are going weak. That's because I'm drunk, not because of some kiss. Ah, What are you? Ah, No. You're getting hard. It feels good, doesn't it? You see, men know this place better. So good, I'm... How does it feel to have what you usually do to women done to you? Shame or humiliation? Tell me, Hikaru-chan. Ugh, shudder. Whoa there. Shit, I can't believe I'm hard from this bastard. I don't really want to, but... Whoa! Whoa, okay, um, wow, wow. I'm just sliding it in between your thighs. I won't put it in. Between? Uh, uh, Thrust, thrust, Uh, ah. His thing is rubbing against mine. Uh, Ah, my back feels hot. It's like, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like totally honest with you guys. It's not anything about this being BL or Yaoi. It's just this kind of explicit content is not usually consumed in the presence of others. Didn't think he would pass out, but I guess he was pretty drunk. <laughs> Maybe I overdid things a bit. He really fits my type though. He's got a cute face. What am I saying about him? Get it together, Shinobu. At the very least, I now hold one weakest from everyone's beloved prince. I hope he's learned his lesson with this and won't be coming back to the bar. 
Now, I understand this kind of macho bravado competition thing they got going on, but to be honest, I'm not really on board with this whole kind of getting people's weakness and the blackmailing stuff, but I understand it's just a fun little fantasy world, so I can just ignore that for now. I fell asleep. Twinch. Ugh. Why am I thinking about it? Look what he did. All right, so some major things really went down in chapter two. Holy crap. I guess uh, for my first BL manga, I really jumped in the deep end with this stuff. I know the manga was mature, so I was kind of expecting this, but wow. That's kind of all I got to say as well. I'm actually pretty excited for where this story is gonna go. I'm actually a huge fan of love stories. So hopefully this has a sweet ending and this kind of like dude competition doesn't go on for too long. I, I'm, I'm hoping for a happy ending. So let's see how we go in chapter three. Something fell out of your pocket. A lighter? Oh, that's, do you smoke? Uh, no, so that's actually this, this one guy left it in my room. I didn't want him to think I tossed it and for him to scold me, but I don't know what to do. Uh-huh, in your room? I didn't know something like that happened. No, not like he kissed me or anything. They definitely kissed. Maybe he left it in there on purpose. On purpose. You know how girls sometimes pretend to forget their belongings to create an opportunity to see you again? I see. I see now. On purpose, is it? That means I can wait until he comes to me. Man, I'm bad. <laughs> Classic. By the way, what happened after you took him home? Did you take him? It's you we're talking about here. It'd be better if you fess up, Mr. Nin Nin. Nah, I didn't take him. Only had a little taste. He's straight and still trying to pull guys. I'd feel bad if one of those guys took it seriously, so I burned him a little. In the asshole? Wow. Say whatever you want. For someone like me who hides his lifestyle from his workplace, I need to have at least one or two of his secrets in case something comes out. This is weird. I don't feel like he's coming. I've been waiting for him for over a week and he hasn't shown up. Maybe he really did just lose it. He might have even forgotten that he lost it. That's right. Maybe he forgot my address. It's been a while since then too. Then I guess I can't help it. I must be the one to return it to you. Ah, uh, this guy. <sighs> for real, he just never learns. I can't leave with you standing there. Your lighter. Huh? You left it at my place. Oh, I was wondering where I dropped it. You came all this way to return it? You can't deceive me. Huh? I didn't want you complaining if I tossed it. Besides, wasn't this just an excuse again for you to see me? I get it now. Were you waiting for me to come to return it to you? Ah, uh, hold on, mate. I'm not following. I see now. No, I really did just drop it. Just pretend that's what happened. Otherwise, I'd look like an idiot waiting for you to come. Did you grow tired of waiting for me to come and you decided to come here yourself? Was it that good? So good you let yourself get drenched in the rain? No. So good you had to come and see me? It's revenge. What? That's right. I came to get my revenge. I was drunk last time. I couldn't even stand straight. So the next time I'd... I was wondering what he'd say when he was driven into a corner. But does he even know what he's saying? I see. Revenge, is it? <laughs> That's right. Does that mean you'll let me go all the way next time? Twitch, twitch. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, okay. Now he's the one going for the kiss. All right, nice, nice. <laughs> All right, if that's what you want. Ooh, it's an F-bomb. Damn, he's so straightforward. Well, let's just keep it as, uh, you know, friendly as possible. So let's run that one back. If that's what you want, then I'll fluff you. You gonna come and get your revenge? Yeah, I'll make you my prisoner. Peck. You're so naive, Hikaru-chan. Huh? An adorable little kiss like that isn't gonna cut it. It's gotta be like this. Smooch, smooch. It's like I'm being devoured. Ah, oh, look, your legs gave out again. You better work for it. I don't want your kisses. I'm losing it. I feel like I'm becoming someone else. Then I'll have you lose it all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're going all the way. Ooh, okay, now this is... Okay, okay, uh, I don't know, I don't, whoa, okay, I don't know, <laughs> mom! Wow, very, uh, mm -hmm. it's very explicit. <laughs> okay, let's see how we go. Wow, 
Okay, wow, they do it like that? This is like becoming somewhat of an educational experience for me. You're now my prisoner. Shudder. Oh, he really did it. I completely fell into his trap. His unconscious trap. What a terrifying man. Oh, defeated. That was crazy. That, wow, chapter three was really crazy. Getting a little bit of mutual attraction. Nice to see. I feel like Shinobu is like getting more interested in Hikaru. And Hikaru is enchanted. He's just absolutely enchanted. Let's move on to chapter four. Okay guys, so unfortunately I can't read any more of the manga, otherwise I'd be spoiling the entire thing. I actually do read the manga all the way until the end, so what you're about to see is my reaction and also me showing my thoughts after reading the entire manga. Nice! Wow! That's the end! That went by a lot faster than I thought! I like that. I actually was really into the story. The steamy stuff, that was a first. That was also a first for me. It was more graphic than I thought, to be honest. And it was surprisingly educational. I really enjoyed the dynamic. Like, I'm not really into stories that have these kind of power play things. Like, oh, I'm gonna make you my prisoner. And like, nah, I'm gonna make you my prisoner. And I'm gonna win this guy. And then like, leave him broken hearted and use him. I'm not really into those kind of storylines, but it was actually totally different than uh, I thought it was gonna be. It was actually quite nice. Although like Shinobu's character, like they, they built him up at the beginning to be quite a playboy. They didn't like go over the top with it. And then Hikaru was like this narcissistic jerk at the beginning, but they actually like broke those walls down like pretty early on in the story, which was cool. Uh, regarding my expectations of the manga, I thought it was going to be quite cheesy. To be honest, yeah, there were a couple few cheesy lines here and there, but I didn't think it was like over the top cheesy or that could just mean I'm a cheesy person. I didn't think I was, but uh, uh, to be honest, the explicit scenes uh, went way further and above what I thought they were gonna be like. I knew it was mature, I knew it was for uh, a mature audience, but um, wow, those were full on and very artistic. All I can say is that was a really solid and fun experience. The, the main characters were handsome and when two handsome guys get together, what could go wrong? So if you guys enjoyed reading the manga with me, having me do the dialogue and also providing some commentary, I'd be more than happy to do another one of these videos for you guys. So if you guys liked it, please don't forget to like the video and also leave me a comment down below. If you guys have any BL manga that you wanna recommend to me, go right ahead. I mean, that was surprisingly really cool. They don't have to be as mature as this one, but um, they can be. If you think I'd enjoy it, just let me know. <laughs> All right, thank you guys very much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.